Winter is coming. Actually, it's already here and has been for a while, depending on where you live in the world. And unlike me, your employees should be dressed for the weather and you should be keeping them safe. Up next, we'll talk about the hazards of winter and the effect the cold can have on your employees. Cold temperatures and wind chill cause heat to leave the body faster, which puts employees at risk of cold stress. Technicians don't usually work outside full time, but there are times where they're exposed to the cold for long periods. Anyone working out in the cold may be at risk. Here's a review of OSHA's most common types of cold stress to keep in mind. The first is hypothermia which is when normal body temperature drops to 95 degrees Fahrenheit or less. The person is alert but shivering, but in severe cases, you can expect confusion, slurred speech, slow heart rate and breathing, and in extreme cases, loss of consciousness or death. The second is frostbite, which is when a person's body tissue, usually their hands and feet, freeze. Because of wind chill, this can even occur when temperatures are above freezing. Symptoms may include numbness, reddening skin with gray or white patches and blisters. Frostbite, in extreme cases, can result in amputation. So how do you avoid cases of hypothermia or frostbite among your staff in the winter? The best thing is to have employees drink warm, sweetened fluids and dress properly. Proper dress includes loose-fitting, insulated clothes, gloves and a waterproof hat, as well as insulated and waterproof boots. Aside from dressing from the weather, you'll want to make sure your driveway, parking lots and sidewalks are clear to avoid any slips or falls among your employees and customers. Shoveling snow can be hard work, so it's important employees take precautions to avoid injuries when shoveling. Have your employees warm up before heading outside and make sure they scoop small amounts of snow at a time and push the snow instead of lifting it. Employees should be trained on using a snowblower or other power tools before using the equipment and should know how to check whether the equipment is grounded properly. I'm Danielle Hess, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.